I recently shared with you my ultimate espresso martini recipe. And as part of the recipe, I talked about the sweetener of choice, which is coffee saccharum, which is a zero waste, extremely easy and versatile syrup made from leftover coffee pucks. And I'll link to back to one of the first videos I ever made. Today, we're gonna to update that video, giving you the exact recipe I use for coffee saccharum syrup for espresso martinis and lots of other coffee cocktails, which is a little bit different than in the original video. Throughout the video, I'm gonna answer all of your questions about coffee saccharum, giving you some tips and tricks along the way, as well as talking about how we can make coffee saccharum much more accessible for as many people as possible, whether or not you have an espresso machine at home. Let's make coffee saccharum. All right, welcome back to the Coffee Cocktail channel. I'm Dan Fellows. And if you haven't already watched my espresso martini recipe, I'd recommend watching that first and I'll link it above. But if you have, welcome along. Today we're gonna to make coffee saccharum. So in my first coffee saccharum video, I made something much more like coffee liqueur, which is really useful, works in a lot of coffee cocktails, but sometimes you wanna make something closer to a coffee syrup, which is what we're gonna to do today. So the technique is really similar, but the recipe and the end result is completely different. I'm also gonna answer some of your key questions that you had from the first video about coffee saccharum, including what if I don't have an espresso machine? How long after brewing do I have to make coffee saccharum? And what can I do if I don't make much coffee? Can I use any coffee and sugar for this? And how long does it last? So stay tuned till the end of the video, where we're gonna answer all of these questions and more. So the first and most important question we need to answer is what is coffee saccharum? And that's a great question. So essentially coffee saccharum is using a technique from something called oleosaccharum and applying it to leftover coffee. So oleosaccharum is where you extract the oils from citrus fruit using sugar. And this is gonna pull out really kind of oily, intense, thick, bittersweet, kind of acidic flavors from the citrus peels. When we apply this to coffee, we're gonna use these leftover coffee pucks. And we're gonna infuse this into sugar to get a really rich, bittersweet coffee syrup. So to make coffee syrup, as well as the pucks, we're gonna need a sugar or sugars of your choice. We're gonna need some filter coffee but this can also be substituted, which I'll talk about later. We're gonna need a filter paper, something to strain the liquid into, like a mixing glass, and then we're gonna need a big bowl and something to mix it with, and some scales, which I'll leave here. So building our coffee saccharum on the scales is an equal part recipe for this syrup version. So I'm gonna break in all of these espresso pucks and see how much they weigh. So one of the key questions people ask is, what if I don't have an espresso machine? And I have a few answers. So the first solution we have is to go to your local coffee shop, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to give you some leftover coffee pucks. They usually go in the bin or to recycling, so this is a really good use of them. So another good solution for this for you filter coffee drinkers out there is to use leftover filter grounds. And this works really, really well. The only thing you need to consider is the kind of intensity of coffee flavor in the final syrup isn't quite so high. So you might wanna leave it just a little bit longer than you would for espresso pucks. A lot of you who made this also asked how long after brewing the espresso you need to wait or how quickly you need to make the coffee saccharum after extracting the coffee. And this is actually one of the most important tips for the whole process. You really want these pucks to be from the same day of extraction. So these were extracted this morning and I'm gonna make it this afternoon, but the sooner after extracting the better really, because we wanna pull out all the moisture from the coffee pucks in order to flavor our syrup. If you don't use 131 grams of espresso in the daytime, that's totally fine. I've got a few tips. Either you can scale the recipe up or down because it's an equal part recipe, but you can also keep your pucks in the freezer, which is a really nice thing to do. So the best thing you can do here is extract it, knock it out straight in the freezer, and it freezes with all the moisture still inside. So then you can actually use your frozen pucks, put them in the sugar, let them defrost, and make coffee saccharum as normal, and that works really well. Being an equal parts recipe, you can scale it up or down, according to how much coffee saccharum you need. And another question you had is, can I use any coffee for this? And it's a resounding yes, of course. So depending on the coffee you choose, you're gonna get different flavor characteristics into your coffee saccharum. So in here, we've got our coffee pucks, which are 131 grams. So I'm gonna add my sugar next to this. And I wanna go equal parts coffee pucks, espresso pucks to sugar. But one thing you can do here is blend your sugars. So I'm gonna go equal parts golden caster sugar and light muscovado sugar. But you can play around with different sugars, different sweeteners, as long as it's gonna be a dry sugar to pull out the moisture from the espresso pucks, it's gonna work really well. So I'm gonna go 65 grams of golden caster and 65 grams of light muscovado sugar. So golden caster is quite clean, but it doesn't have a huge amount of flavor. 
Whereas light muscovado sugar has loads of flavor. It's got quite a high molasses content, so it's really fudgy, kind of butterscotchy, really kind of creamy, almost toffee-like, and it's delicious. So now we've got equal parts sugar and coffee of your choice. We just want to give this a really good mix together. And what you'll see happen is they'll all become one. The sugar will almost look like it disappears. And this is kind of a similar process to oleosaccharum. So whereas in oleosaccharum, you'd use citrus peels, today we're using leftover coffee. Very sustainable indeed. So now that's mixed together and become kind of a moist, sticky mix. We're going to leave this covered for probably six to eight hours. You can leave it longer if you like. And when you do so, you come back to this. So this is our delicious looking slurry, I guess. Kind of looks like oil. It's got like a shine to it. Again, I said in the first video, it looks like the ultimate sticky toffee sauce, which I stand by. It very much does. And what we want to do to this is add equal parts filter coffee. So I'm going to add 130 grams of filter coffee to this. And then we're going to give it a good mix together. So once again, if you go to your local cafe and they do batch brew, quite often they'll have leftover batch brewed coffee, and this is a really good use for it. So when you compare this to the first recipe, which was closer to a coffee liqueur, which had more filter coffee and also some spirits in there, this is going to be much richer, much more intense, and a really good kind of bittersweet coffee syrup for cocktails. So all you need to do with this is grab some kind of paper filter method, either V60 or a Clever Dripper, which I like to use because it's nice and big. Carefully pour it through. And then you have to be extremely, extremely patient. So we're going to leave this to draw through, which is going to take a really long time, kind of 12 to 24 hours. And if this does choke up, you can actually pass it into a fresh paper filter and it should get it going again. So don't worry if it takes a long time. It's a literal drip by drip process, but it's completely worth it. So once that's done, you'll be left with this, which is coffee saccharum syrup. So a lot of you asked me how long this would keep in the fridge, and that's a really good question. I'd say only a couple of days in this form, so make sure you adjust your batch size to make sure you don't waste too much. But what you can do is switch out the filter coffee and put in its place some kind of spirit, which is gonna really elongate the shelf life. When you do this, you can add something like vodka, you can add a white rum or even a darker rum, the vodka is going to be quite neutral, and then the rums are going to add more and more flavor the darker you go. So if you want to keep it quite clean, go for something light. If you want to keep it kind of rich and intense, go for something darker, and that'll give you much more time to use this product. So for testing's sake, I'm going to give this a little taste just to show you what it tastes like. Cheers. This is just sugar syrup, basically. But it's delicious. It's kind of bittersweet full of body, really rich and intense, very thick. This ends up being around about one to one sugar syrup if you don't allow for the kind of extracted stuff from the coffee. And this can work in a huge range of cocktails. You can use it in an old fashioned, you can use it in a lot of kind of sweet and sour cocktails, subbing out regular sugar for this to bring a really nice coffee forward flavor. You can use it in stirred down and brown cocktails, aperitif cocktails. Anywhere you see a sugar syrup, sub this in and see how you get on and let me know how it goes in the comments. So there we have it, a really delicious, versatile, easy and sustainable waste-free coffee syrup, which is perfect for use in a lot of different drinks. If you wanna see how you can make the original inspiration behind this, which is oleosaccharum, you can click here. And if you wanna see how I've applied this to make a really delicious cocktail and a saccharum using another zero waste ingredient, you can click here. So hopefully you've gained some kind of value from this. If you have, subscribe to my channel, which I'll link here. Follow me on Instagram, at damnfellows1. Let me know how it all goes, and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.